Select the study and open it in review mode by clicking on the review command. You can use different commands to review the EEG. Right and left arrows on the keyboard to move forward or backward throughout the EEG. Right arrow. Left arrow. Use the study toolbar at the top by clicking on the point of interest. Select hand or home on the keyboard to move at the end or at the beginning of the study. Press end. Press home. Use the mouse cursor to drag and move right and left the EG by keeping the left button pressed. Keep the button pressed and drag the EEG from right to left to move forward. Keep the button pressed and drag the EEG from left to right to move backward. Then you can use the navigator to select the point where to start marking the clip. Drag the navigator to be more accurate. Start marking clip by selecting the command on the review toolbar. Assign a title to the clip and press OK. You can also use the Annotation Viewer to review the EG by selecting an event from the list in order to directly jump to the corresponding point in the EEG. You can open the Annotation Viewer from the View menu. Select the event to jump to the corresponding EEG page. Use the navigator to identify the point to close the clip. Select the End Marking Clip button. Identify the second point of interest in the EG in order to make a new clip. Select a different event. Start to make a new clip by identifying a new point in the EEG. Use the navigator. Create a new clip assigning a new title. Navigate the EEG throughout the study toolbar.
use the navigator and end marking the clip. Open the Edit Clip tool to check the properties of the clips. Select whether or not to include video for each clip. To include video, click the checkbox in the video column. To remove the video, uncheck the box. Choose which clips you want to include with the study by clicking the checkbox under the clip column. If you agree with the selections, select Prune. Pruning will generate a new study and the original one will be kept intact. Before pruning, you have to rename the new prune study in order to identify it in the database and distinguish it from the original one. You can create a prune study based on the clips that you have previously marked. You can also delete all video from the current study that is not in a marked clip. This option will modify the original study and it will not be discussed during the tutorial. Select the first option. Type in a title to assign to the new prune study and then press OK to prune. Wait until the process has been completed, then press OK. Then close the dialog box, the study and go back to the database. You can find the print study in the database. It's marked with a special icon and the name previously assigned. A new icon appears in the study contents column. And the title is shown as the new study name. You can open the print study in review mode by clicking on the review button. You can review the prune study as you did with the original one. By using the study toolbar, by using the arrows on the keyboard and then close the study. You can remove the clips from the original study opening in review mode. Open the Edit Clip tool.
Select the clips to remove, click on Unmark and then close the dialog box. You can also remove the clip from within the Annotation Viewer by selecting the corresponding event. Select the event. Right-click and select Delete node. Save the changes by clicking on File, then Save and close the study.